these are great little quick problems that we can do to any warm up or cool down in your classroom. So let's go ahead and begin. How many one thirds are in 20? Well, to explain this problem, what I like to do is just go ahead and get a bar and divide it in threes. And I say, okay, well, how many one thirds are in one? And it, they'll take a look at that and say, well, three. Well, then how many would be in two? And they'll take a look at that and they'll say, well, I guess it'll be six, right? Okay, how many would be in three? So we we'll finally get nine. All right, so now let's go, how many would be in 10? There'd be 30, so how many would be in 20? Well, 20 times three in this case would be 60. So there's 60 one thirds in 20. The next one is how many two thirds are in 20? Well, if one thirds are 20, we, we want to think there, would there be more or would there be less? And so we think about this and we look at the fact that, okay, two thirds is actually bigger than a one third, right? So as I'm fitting these little things into my room, I should so know that they're bigger and I can fit less of them. So then the question becomes how much less? And since it's two thirds, we would say, well, we would divide that in half. So, cause these are twice as big. So they take up twice as much room. We'd end up fitting for two thirds and end up getting 30 for our answer. Okay. These are great little problems.